Hey, this is Enoch Sears, and this is Architecture Business Secrets. This is the business of architecture. So in case you're wondering what Architecture Business Secrets is, well, this is it. Look, I've been doing the Business of Architecture podcast for a while now, and I wanted to do something, mix it up a little bit, because I'm not sure if you're aware, there is a movement happening right now in architecture. Architects around the world are getting paid better, they're making more money, they're having more free time, they're having more fulfillment and more passion in what they're doing. They're taking control of design and creating awesome projects. So you may be wondering, well, what is this movement? It's movement of architects that are getting smart about right business practices, how to run an excellent and a fulfilling business. Just a couple weeks ago, I, with a couple of my partners, we put on the Architect Business Development Summit, and we had 64 architects there from around the world who are learning cutting edge business development practices for architects to attract more projects. Now, if you hear some background noise, it's because I'm walking around my neighborhood and I'm gonna start doing these short little snippets where I'm gonna share with you tips and tricks and strategies from people who I'm working with personally and that my partners are working with. Some of these people that we work with are in our million dollar mastermind coaching group Others are people who email me stuff. And so I want to share that information with you because you, as one of my loyal supporters, someone who follows Business of Architecture and what I do, I want to make sure that you get the best information to help you reach your goals. All right. So if you're, if you're listening to this on the podcast, this is also posted on YouTube so you can see the video. Like I said, I'm walking around my neighborhood. I live in Visalia, California. What I wanted to talk to you about today was an email that I got from Scott Mann. Scott, I know you're out there. So Scott sent me an email and he shared with me that he is implementing something that I talk about a lot, which is being the preeminent thought leader in your market as an architect, okay? The rules are changing. Right now, the people who are making lots of money, getting lots of goodwill and building relationships are people who are giving lots of value. Give, 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 give. That is how you get in this modern economy. Well, it's kind of meta, right? Because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm giving lots of value to you. Hopefully you get lots of value out of this. I do want to get your feedback. Let me know if you like this new format. This is something new with the podcast. I'm going to intersperse the interviews with these little walks with Enoch where I'm going to share with you some of the secrets that I am that I know about running a successful architecture firm. So let me go back to Scott, all right? Scott sent me an email. He said, you know what, Enoch? Um, I'm taking your advice by becoming a preeminent thought leader and advisor to my clients. And I'm hosting, or I'm taking part in a winery event, so he's gonna go speak. Okay, I'm just crossing the street here. Sorry about the delay. He's gonna go speak at a winery uh, about wine cellar design. Okay, so he's gonna go get in front of people and he's gonna share knowledge about designing wine cellars. Now, I think that is spectacular and I think that's cool because what Scott's doing here is he's getting in front of people who may be interested in the services that he has to offer. He's demonstrating his expertise and that's a great way to be able to leverage and quickly build up your relationship, your network, and build up the value. So congratulations, Scott, on doing that. I encourage you, if you need more projects, if you need more income, if you need more cash flow in your business, and you think that sales and marketing is the key, I encourage you to think about, think about marketing as a fisherman would think about catching fish, right? So when you think about marketing or business development, even if you depend on referrals, it's the same strategy. What you need to do is you need to figure out how to attract the kind of fish that you wanna catch, right? And you're gonna do that with some bait. There's hundreds and hundreds of different kind of bait, and we can talk about that in, a, in another episode. Okay. After you've identified the bait that you're going to use to attract your ideal clients, then you need to have uh, you need to have an idea of where they hang out. You need to know where they hang out. And in our case, Scott thinks that he's going to pick up some of these fish at uh, one of these winery events, which is is very likely and very and very possible. Now, one thing you got to realize as you're doing marketing and as you're looking for new clients is that it's very rare that you're going to hit things out of the park. You know, knock it out of the park on the first go around. A lot of marketing has to do with testing, trying out different things that work. So Scott, he might go to this event and he might find that, you know what, no one in the room is qualified to hire him for his services. On the other hand, he might find that he hit a gold mine. So the key is you've got to take action because when you take action, that's when good things come into your life. You know, I just got off a phone call, it was actually an interview that you'll be hearing soon with Earl Parson of Parson Architecture. 
he said when he got laid off in 2009, he didn't necessarily have a whole lot of work uh, lined up. And so he started pursuing a hobby, which was he likes to fabricate things. So he went to some local uh, refuse yards, he picked up some scrap metal, and he started sculpting, welding together these metallic sculptures, which ended up in an art gallery, which ended up getting him a project, right? And I thought that was cool because what that tells me is that if you take action, if you just get out there and do something, it's a lot more likely that good things are gonna come your way. It's sort of like this mysterious law in the universe that when you put lots of effort out there, things are bound to happen, okay? So destroy every obstacle, get out there, identify what your dream is, what is your passion, what is your message, get out there and spread it. Now, I did wanna tell you about the 30-day vlogging challenge. So I was introduced to this by my buddy. Well, yesterday, a buddy of mine, we were talking, and he has this dream of becoming this internet kind of YouTube sensation. I thought, you know what? If you wanna get prominent on YouTube, the first thing you have to do is you have to get out there and you have to start making videos. And he's like, well, you know, yeah, but I gotta do this first and I gotta do this first and I gotta do this. And I was like, those are excuses. You gotta to start tomorrow. You go back, you look at any YouTube star, any people that are you know, having viral videos and millions of followers, go back to their early videos, they're all crap. Just like this one. <laughs> just like this video and this little podcast episode is junk. You know, I try hard, but the point is, is that I'm taking action, he needs to take action, you need to ch take action because we all gotta start somewhere. No one knocks it out of the park on the first go around. You know, no one is an overnight success. There's a lot of 30 year overnight successes, but there's not very many overnight successes. So having that in mind, I said, you know what, look, I wanted to give him some incentive to actually, to actually take action. So I said, look, let's start up a 30 day challenge. You and I were both going to do a video blog or video log, shall we say, every day for 30 days. And that would be Monday through Friday. We're going to post it up to YouTube. I'm going to post it to my, my podcast listeners. And um, we're going to put $100 each into the pot. If either one of us fails to meet the challenge, then the other winner takes the $200. If we both meet our goal, then we're going to go out with our wives on a double date to a nice restaurant, okay? So here's a key. If you have a goal, if you have someone doing something with you, you're more likely to do it. That's the first thing. And the second thing is make sure you have some sort of accountability. If you can work in accountability to the goals and the things you want to achieve, you're going to find that you're a lot more successful. So actually, those are two of my five pillars of transformation. If you want to transform your life in any area, whether it's business success, whether it's more income, whether it's having better relationships with your family, with friends, with people, having more abundance in your life, there are five key things you need to get right. I'm not gonna go over those now, I'm gonna save that for another episode. But I do wanna invite you to join me on this video logging journey for 30 days, right? So you're an architect, you're a designer, you have a lot of expertise and people out there need to hear it. Right? We no longer have the excuse of, of saying that you know, no one can hear my message because I have to pay a lot of money to go be on a cable show or, or be on TV or be on radio. The tools are out there to reach millions of people and you have that power, you're sitting on that. So what I'm gonna challenge you to do, whatever your expertise is, whether it's residential design, whether it's commercial design, I'm gonna invite you to make a short little video just like this with all the, the warts, the zits, the pimples. I mean, you, I, don't, I got some too. But my point is, is that it's not gonna be perfect. You gotta do it, and when you do it, that is gonna create good things in your life. So let me know if you're gonna participate in the video logging challenge and do so, visit the, the web, uh, visit my Facebook page, Business of Architecture on Facebook. Drop in, I wanna see your videos that you're producing, okay? I want the Business of Architecture community to take on this challenge, and all of us are gonna show the world the power of design. I want you talking about your expertise, I want you to talk about your knowledge as an architect, I want you to talk about how you help your clients, I want you to talk about the projects you're working on, the things you're doing, whether you're a firm owner or whether you're an employee, Put it out there, put it up on the web, start creating content, and get started now establishing yourself as a thought leader. So this is Enix here signing off from Business of Architecture. Last thing I'll tell you is if you wanna get one of the coolest resources that I've been involved in and created, go over to freemarketinggift.com. Okay, freemarketinggift.com. I'm gonna send you a marketing gift worth about $200 that, can be, that will be sent to you. In addition, you'll also be signed up to receive 
Architect Marketing Labs, which is the publication that I publish with my partners, uh, Eric Bobro and Richard Petrie, marketing coach Richard Petrie. So go check that out, freemarketinggift.com. Visit Facebook, Business of Architecture on Facebook. Let me know you're gonna participate in the video challenge. Let's let everyone know, let's get you some social momentum, let people know that you're an expert and bring some good things into your life. So with that, last thing I'm gonna say, let me know what you think this little video and this, little, this new little podcast format. I'm gonna intersperse these with uh, the episodes that we already have from the Business of Architecture. These are a little bit more bite-sized, short and sweet to motivate you, get a little peek into Enoch's inner life. Here's my house, I'm just gonna, you can see there my door needs to be painted very badly. That'll get done eventually. California, look, here's our poppies. And I apologize if you're just listening to this, you can't see these beautiful California poppies. Anyways, love you. Go out there and conquer the world. Enix Sears, over and out.